welcome everyone for today and presenting the topic on antibiotics. So first of all, what's an antibiotic? An antibiotic is a type of single-stranded iron which is associated with lots of diseases and the human diseases and happens in a small intestine. Process. It affects mainly the intestine. So antibiotics are divided into human antibiotics, A, B, C, and E types. And among them, the antibiotics that you want to classify as human antibiotics A and has the highest capacity. So antibiotics, they are very contagious and they are mainly transmitted through the fetal oral route, uh, like water and food contamination, and also through respiratory tract via droplet, coughing, sneezing. And we've gone to the infected with the placenta, the process of childbirth or for cutting with the personal contact. In the types of uh, antibiotics, so there are two classifications to use the virus A and B, the echovirus, rhinovirus, and poliovirus, which is used the world type 1, 2, and 3. Uh, now, coming to the diseases that are caused by the antivirus, so all the uh, organisms transferred as antiviruses may cause poliomyelitis, myeloperitis, and many conjugatitis, non specific fever illness, pneumonia, asbestos meningitis. Uh, the Coxsackie virus is known to cause the hand, foot, and mouth disease. Encephalitis, acute plastic viruses, common cold, myelitis, and infectious pancreatitis, etc. So the etiology. Uh, the rhinovirus species, so we have the rhinovirus and the non rhinovirus. So the rhinovirus species is the enterovirus genius, which infects both the asthma and lower respiratory tract, and is very important to the limited disease. So most of the, so the antiviruses are uh, belong to the class of picoda <coughs> gridae. So most of those are the picoda gridae. They show efficient growth at 60 degrees Celsius. However, rhinoviruses that they show efficiency at 70 degrees Celsius, which contributes to their processing of upper respiration origin. And the non-rhinovirus species, so they are suspected to cause a common viral pathogen that infects the DNA. Uh, they affect the elementary, uh, the elementary tract first, and then they are acid stable, such as they can survive below pH of 3. And then they are, uh, because of the acid stability, they are able to pass to the human acid environment and then uh, show their effect in the intestine. So, as a neurology, uh, antibiotics are indicators causing disease worldwide. The majority results in primary pediatric disease. Where the risk factors prevalent and clinical presentation varies extensively according to the stereotype. Uh, non rhinovirus, they have varying patterns of occurrence also based on the stereotype. And in warmer climates, uh, the normally see these uh, viruses uh, take to infect us. They are especially seen near round frequency mixed with other infections. Males are infected more frequently than the females at the rate of 1.5 to 2.1. At a rate of 1.5 to 2.5 to 1, and are more likely to have severe disease. Uh, transmission normally occurs from host to host, but uh, there is evidence of uh, human to animal transfer of host or animal to human. And uh, polio viruses, for the polio virus, there's only one so far that have had a uh, vaccine created for them. And Coxsackie virus and echovirus will still remain the major cause of infection and digestive globally. Uh, rhinovirus is developed in the 1950s and they cause more than half of the respiratory tract infections. Uh, most of the time, the infections are seen most so much in children that are pediatric generation, uh, pediatric, and um, infections peak in the spring and fall, except for rhinovirus, which is being eliminated. And then, uh, in contrast to non rhinovirus and enterovirus, the humans are the only known group. So, for non rhinovirus, it can be human to animal or animal to human, but then in rhinovirus, it can be human to human. Pathophysiology. So, the transmission of rhinovirus occurs by a direct infiltration of the nasal or eye contact uh, The virus is transported by the, uh, the lacrimal duct, which um, goes to the nasal part of the the nasal part they can survive in not up to date, less than uh, age, 7 to 10 days, and um, at ambient temperature, and they live for hours and on the surface. They may also be transmitted through the aerosolization. 
and the virus cloud detected an outbreak with the PQ and the UQ link and long term care facilities. Non random virus enteroviruses show therapeutic in the mucosa of the oral pharynx and intestine. Therefore, the excretion of the virus can be detected in oral secretion as well as rectal deposits. Uh, lymphatic tissues such as tennis, plastic, and tongue are also targets of this virus. Um, from there, the, the virus spreads to the lymph nodes and then the blood sugar. The behavior contributes to the designated to see the victimized cardiac and peri cardiac, the sound cardiac, and rarely to an extension of the CNS. Uh, <coughs> non virus virus enteroviruses can create the CNS via the primary infection site. Like. Um, they, uh, enteroviruses can cause bandage, give a certain level of protection by inducing apoptosis and autophagy. The immune response also contributes to the state of the disease. So, um, for poliovirus, the enterovirus with neurological involvement, poliovirus is the enterovirus with neurological involvement, which presents most in children under 5 years and in hospital form. So, in it, um, abortive form, uh, a mild illness lasts approximately one week, results uh, result in 10 minutes of recovery. And in the non virus form, it may cause similar and it likes the meningeal tissues, but without massive paralysis. But in the paralysis form, it affects 1% of patients with paralysis, which occurs in hours. And then the, most of the time, the paralysis is still reversible. So, 90 to 95% of total virus infections may be asymptomatic or suffering. Uh, coming to the time of the symptoms, so what we write about is causing symptoms such as fever, cough, sneezing, uh, rhinorrhea, otelgia, pharyngitis, liver congestion, and sinus pressure. It can also cause sneezing and dyspnea. Uh, non rhinovirus enteroviruses may cause fever, malaise, GI upset, uh, rash, with some property weakness, cough, sneezing, sources, chest pain, and altered mental status. Uh, Comorbidity such as uh, premature birth, bronchial pulmonary dyslexia, and lung chronic lung disease, and if you know, if you know compromised cases, uh, concomitant mathematical disease and diabetes may cause the patient more serious or not necessarily frequent infection. Uh, coming to the diagnosis. So, a uh, respiratory disease may present with an abnormal chest x ray or computer, computer tomography scan. Magnetic resonance imaging of the head of spinal cord may be indicated in cases of altered mental status of paralysis. And they also do the PCR, respiratory chain reaction, and lumbar puncture for when they suspect the CNS involvement. And also an electrocardiogram for the myopericardite and chest pain when they are present for those. Clinical discernment uh, must guide the collection of other theological studies, including kidney and liver function. So, based on the, uh, the caregiver's discernment, uh, we decide to see if there are any other patients who want to go. And, um, this symptomatic virus presence in test samples has been documented in very frequency based on the clinical concerns of whether the patient should rule out other forms before diagnosing the enteroviral infection. Uh, now coming to the treatment part, so there are four different constituents of these viruses, but then they mainly focus on symptomatic treatment. So, like, if there are, uh, let's say, they have one that comes out with patients like NSA for cough, uh, uh, sorry. NSA is a concentrated cough syrup and nasal congestion for the corresponding symptoms like breathing, bronchial spasm, uh, asthma, and any respiratory diseases. And patients with paralysis for other CNS disease will pass through the condition. Uh, there are no antivirals approved by the FDA. The only one approved is of the polio virus. But then uh, the antiviral is nicolaris. It's a passive inhibitor. It is used in patients with so it is used in patients to prevent the acute asthma exacerbation or uh, common cold symptoms in patients who are asthmatic and have been exposed to the decomodidate uh, virus. And also also the decomodal has been uh, used clinically in rare cases. It's 
still the approval. They did demonstrate some political efficacy and have been extensively studied, becoming a base for future anti variables. Drug testing is the only FDA approved drug demonstrating significant activity against basic protein enterovirus disease, and 50% of SRI activity. Uh, yeah, so the only other treatment you can give is like 10 measures. So except for polio, there's no vaccine available. When they express the main oral and growth chain or yeah, if they express the oral and growth chain, the best thing to do is have some food for the symptoms like uh cooking yogurt, bread, fish soup, to avoid consuming infected food. Clean the mouth with a soft grateful to the brush for mouthwash of the eating. And then during the epidemic, try to avoid crowded places and poorly ventilated public areas. And avoid contact with patients who are suspected to be infected or have the uh, have next door. Uh, maintain a balanced diet, moderate exercise, and adequate sleep to enhance the immunity. Uh, strengthen personal hygiene, wash hands frequently. The whole environment should be kept clean. Uh, for the infection of vomit or uh, excrement of sick children, we should be also disinfected properly. Uh, children who are especially those with birth should be properly cleaned and disinfected and exposed to the sun to radius of the virus. Okay. Uh, if let's say someone falls sick, you can also inform them to take this so that they avoid infecting the others. Uh, intravenous immunotherapy therapy. Utilizing neutralized immunoglobulins to be investigated for prophylaxis and treatment. Uh, for infections with bacterial or fungal pathogens, should be treated with controversy, but with antimicrobial therapy. Uh, the development of vaccines against enteroviruses is hindered by a large number of distinct viruses. Limited cross reactivity and exposed predicting epidemiological patterns is due to the virus. So the differential diagnosis. So when someone is having a, a like it's infected with the enterovirus, this may be the other uh, symptoms that or the other diagnosis that the uh, caretaker may come up with because we have similar symptoms. Uh, so we have the for enterovirus, we're going to see influenza, and they might also be treated with adenovirus infection. Uh, Cyclococcal pharyngitis, hemophilus influenza, bacterial pneumonitis, allergic pneumonitis, and bronchitis. Uh, pneumonia and asthma and COVID are also there in the rhinovirus activity. And in the long rhinovirus, they may, uh, the differential virus may be CNS tumor, immune birth syndrome, bacterial meningitis, also immune disease, gastroenteritis, and COVID infection. Now, the complications of Enteroviral infection. Uh, it, it includes uh, development of secondary infection because the immune system has been weakened, uh, which results in persistence of chronic disease. Uh, they also lead to irreversible paralysis and destruction of the lung tissue. Uh, acute exacerbation of COPD and asthma are more than the common complications of enteroviral infection. And as there are no approved treatments for enteroviruses, mitigating risk factors and preventing co infection. It's vital to reduce the risk of the case. 